2013 was a massive year for EDM star Zed. With hits like Clarity and Stay the Night, the DJ producer is very much in demand right now. He's currently on his Moment of Clarity tour and I was lucky enough to catch up with him before the show on his tour bus. Check it out. It's a huge show for you tonight in New York City. How do you keep upping the shows? Every song has a certain type of light, color, visuals, special effects, whatever we can get into a certain venue. So I'm never just gonna go up there and just play a new song that someone just gave me. When you see the show, I'm, I want people to feel like they're at a concert and not at a yeah. club. And then you have all these awesome people you worked with, you know, like Foxes, Hayley Williams. I imagine at this point, your phone is like blowing up with like a thousand calls a day from artists. How do you sort of choose? Do you just like pick up the phone and call Hayley Williams and be like, look, <laughs> wanna sing with me? Um, yes, yeah, similar. Honestly, um, we send an email to Haley with a song and just asked if she would want to be part of it. Yeah. Is there anyone in particular you're like, I gotta work with you next year, 2014? Well, an artist I've always wanted to work with was Adele. Um, oh, yeah. And I love her voice and her music, so that would be kind of a dream. And there's a lot of artists that I grew up listening to, bands like Silverchair, Radiohead. You come from a, like a classical training, right? And mm -hmm. through yeah. a classical background. With all those influences, does it ever annoy you that you're like thrown into a pile of other, you know, very successful producers, but... Yeah, I think it, it is kind of annoying sometimes, especially if I'm being thrown in there by people that are not in the scene. You know, there's certain rock musicians that will not pay enough tribute to your work because you yeah. are electronic music, which is why I hate genres generally. Like, I think you should listen to music and judge just by what you hear, not by what genre it is. And for you, when you're making things, are you conscious of what your fans might think by like, you know, yeah. and what you're making? And you're like, this is the song that's in my head right now. I'm just gonna put it down and put it out there. You always ask yourself what people think about it. That's just, that's natural, I think. Especially if you ever had a song that was very successful or more successful than other songs you've done, you ask yourself, why is this song more successful? Did I do something wrong on the other songs? Or is there something specific I did right on that song? Or is it just luck maybe? I don't know. I saw okay. over Christmas, you were doing quite a lot of tweets with like Miley Cyrus and the Miley Cyrus <laughs> Wrecking Ball Christmas like decoration. It? I love it. I think you should work with Miley Cyrus and you should approach that by emailing her with a lot of emojis. I guess I could probably get pretty close with emojis. I yeah. haven't tried to tweet my Miley Cyrus Christmas tree with emojis yet, but I think I could come pretty close. 2014, big yep. year for you? Let's hope so. Um, What's your plans? My plans are um, to work on new music. The music that I write at the moment tends to be slightly more pop than like crazy complex to electro, which is what I've done um, when I start making electro. So, you know, I have no problem with making music that I really think is good. And in the yeah. end of the day, a good song is a good song, whether it's poppy, commercial, successful or not.